Oh, look at this. Oh my god, look at the charring. Look at the grill marks on that. Oh my god. Here we go, Bismillah. Wow. Absolutely clean. That is exactly how you cook a chicken and how you pre marinate it to get those spice levels. The spice is not attacking my tongue, it's dancing on my tongue, which I love. So now we're gonna try the sunset burger. Look, I'm really looking forward to this because you've got like a, like a peppery, smoked peppery kind of chutney on there. Guys, oh god, let me wipe my mouth because that was a saucy one. Let me lick my fingers because that was a saucy one. Let's get a close up on that. Look at that. So chicken, they can see the first of all, look at the cheese. Ah, oh, that cheese, really nice. That All that kind of um, smoky, peppery chutney there. Oh, that is the money shot right there. That is delicious. So these are your hot wings. Now that's the medium, a little bit more, less red, a bit more orange I'd say. And probably the lighter in complexion to all of them is these lemon and herb. Yes, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a brand new episode of Halal Munchies. So today we are finally breaking that Nando's virginity, yes. Believe it or not, a few years ago, no, about a year ago, I broke the KFC virginity, didn't I? So I finally had KFC for the first time. So now we're here, an establishment. I was gonna say, I was gonna explain the name of the establishment, but you all know, it's Nando's. So Nando's is known for their world famous peri peri chicken. They're also known for their uh, kind of statement, let's go for a cheeky Nando's. So that's what I've done today. I'll pop down and got myself a cheeky Nando's. I've had a warm welcome by the team. Very, very warm welcome. Welcome. Love the customer service straight away. I think we're gonna get what best represents Nando. So a few bits and bobs, a few hidden gems. For example, the cheesecake apparently is amazing here, but we'll definitely get the peri peri chicken. We might get a pizza. We might get some wings. If you're new here, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow the Instagram page at Hello and Cheese Reviews, and let's get some. Let's get a cheeky Nando's. That is a big boy cameraman. So folks, I have now got my bottomless drink. I just got it, I think there's a machine right there. They give you the glass. No, the concept is they go, uh, you have to go up, you have to order your food, uh, pay at the till, and then I think they bring the food to you. But anyways, I've ordered myself a bottomless Diet Coke. It's actually not watered down. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, it's okay, I'm not gonna lie, it's okay. I think it's a little bit watered down. Usually the kind of machines that dispense the, the drinks are a little bit watered down. First impressions, really nice in here. It's really nice, it's very open. Uh, I had to get a window table. Beautiful, I'm just, I'm, I'm in the Perry Perry. I was gonna say Perry Perry Bar. <laughs> but I'm in the Perry Bar branch. They are halal and they've shown me the certificate. It's on the wall. Yeah, hopefully it'll be an excellent episode of Halal Munchies. So guys, the food has come and look at this half chicken. You've got your coleslaw, you've got your peri peri fries just there. And what's quite nice, as I mentioned, is they've given me three options for the wings. So you've got your hot, your lemon and herb, and you've got your medium. Just at the back, let's move that here. There you are, that's your medium just there. You have got a uh, pita. Apparently, that is that a pita? And that is that is the Somerset burger, so yeah, really nice and soft this is. And then of course a Perinaise. Where's my drink gone? There's my drink. So that is all the food I will try and be eating today. We shall see if we can KO this and become a Nando's king. I'm gonna pop open the Peri Peri Naze. The Peri Naze, not the Peri Peri Naze. Not like the Peri Peri Bar. I feel like they missed out on a trick there. I don't see no like Peri Peri jokes because it's a Nando's in Peri Bar. It's ridiculous. I think I, I, that's a bit of feedback I'm gonna give. Peri chips into the Peri Naze. Here we go. I love the Peri Peri soap. I love the Peri Naze. It's thick, it's creamy. It's like an enhancement on Peri, no, on mayonnaise. I think what we're gonna do is gonna start off with the lemon and herb. No, let's start with the hot. Let's start off hot and let's go a bit cooler. So I've got the wing just now. Here we go. It looks like a small wing and a niblet piece too. Wow, it literally breaks away from the bone so easily. And it's got a beautiful crispy layer for the skin, really crispy. 
Oh yeah. Regarding spice level, that is definitely the least hot flavour I have ever tasted on any kind of category that any peri peri shop I've been at. That is not hot at all. So speaking to the manager, right? He goes to me, I have extra hot. I can see why he has extra hot because that is like nowhere hot at all. Let's try medium and let's try lemon and herb because I think medium, I don't know, it'll be just bland. Here we go. Let's try uh, the niblet end because we just tried the wing end. Here we go. Don't get me wrong, it's cooked well. The chicken is juicy. The skin is crispy. But I want a, a lot more flavor, like a lot more. And now for the lemon and herb, the lemon and herb. Let's take this little toothpick off. And let's see what the lemon and herb is all about. Mmm, mmm. Chicken is cooked incredibly well. No, not getting a lemon herb. I'm not really getting a lemony kick from that. A bit more citrusy kick I'd like. A bit more citrusy kick. Whilst there, we'll try the coleslaw, right? I think this this was actually recommended by them because I was going to get corn on the cob. Wow. That is, that is beautiful. Crunchy, creamy. That is what you want. That is exactly what you want. And you know what? I'm going to keep on nibbling on the peri peri salted chips because these are incredible now we're gonna try the sunset burger look i'm really looking forward to this because you've got like a like a peppery smoked peppery kind of chutney on there and it's dripping all over my hands oh it's delicious oh this that chutney is delicious i'm getting a little bit excited here we go guys oh god let me wipe my mouth because that was a saucy one let me lick my fingers because that was a saucy one. Let's get a close up on that. Look at that. So, chicken, they can see the festival. Look at the cheese. Ah, oh, that cheese, really nice. That All that kind of um, smoky, peppery chutney there. Oh, that is the money shot right there. That is delicious. I absolutely am loving this sunset burger. First thing you're welcome by is that juiciness, the juiciness of the chicken. I think all the meats I've had today, the chicken, is an incredibly juicy, really, really moist. Then you get that dominant chutney sweetness that pops out. A little bit peppery as they mention it to be, a little bit peppery and that cheese binds it very nicely together, those two chicken thigh patties. Oh, I got excited because 100% thigh over breast all day. Maybe that soft bun is a great addition in comparison to like a, maybe a potato bun or like a brioche bun. No, no, they've done really well there. I really appreciate them going the extra mile to be a little bit more considerate on the burger bun, but yeah, really, really good. Oh, look at this. Oh my God, look at the charring. Look at the grill marks on that. Oh my God. I think this might be the thumbnail. Okay, we've got the hot chicken, hot chicken. Oh man, first of all, I said I've already given you a close-up shot, but look at the charring on that, incredible. Uh, I think we're just gonna bite straight into it. We don't wanna get all fiddly with knives and forks, and with food like this, you have to, have to use your hands. So, here we go, Bismillah. Wow. The spice is not attacking my tongue, it's dancing on my tongue, which I love. So folks, what's quite interesting is the, I think the manager just came up to me and was like, the difference between hot and extra hot is not that it's a different sauce, it's just that there's a lot more used. But people get confused, because on the side, I think, I'll give you a shot later on, there's quite a few sauces. I'm not really a person that used to like sauces, I mean, I've got the Perinés. Perinés is good for me, to dip, dunk in my chips, but that's a different sauce. So the hot and extra hot sauce is different. The one they use on the chicken is just a lot more for the extra hot. So that's what extra hot is. Little uh, tip for you guys. Uh, but yeah, that was um, a delicious piece of chicken. Again, I do like the spice levels to be a lot more higher. However, it still is tasty. It still does pack a punch when it comes to flavor profiles. I really like it. Again, if I'm going into like food reviewer mode, like hardcore food reviewer mode, I think what would be nice if they conclude with a bit of a citrusy kick, like a bit of lemon. Yeah? A bit of lemon would be really, really nice. I think that would really make the flavor 
profile, so balance of flavors really pop out, really conclude with a lemon flavor. Let's try the cheesecake. So we're just finishing off now, we've got the gooey caramel cheesecake. Look at that, oh yes. You know what I say, food goes to the belly, dessert goes to the heart. This is a bit of cream, let's get rid of that just there because we want to we want to see the oh there it is that's the shot we want to see this is the caramel gooey cheesecake maybe on the top on the side um that should be all right here we go <laughs> wow that is wow one of the best cheesecakes i've ever had wow where where is this coming from that creamy flavor that milky flavor it gives it a bit of moisture Oh, I think I'm gonna drop it. That is a munch. Yeah, that is a munch. Oh, I've dropped it. Yeah, man, get it all nice and moist. Mm. That crumbly, biscuity bottom layer. You get that kind of thick, creamy, a very thick cheesecake layer. The caramel pops through nicely for a bit of sweetness. That is a munch. That is probably the best cheesecake, one of the best cheesecakes I've had, period. Highly, highly recommend. So guys, that concludes my first ever experience of Nando's. Interesting, very interesting. You know what, I'll be honest with you, I've had a very, very pleasant experience. I think the chicken was good. The cheesecake was fantastic. The burger was really delicious at Somerset Burger. And I think service here has been outstanding. Sometimes, unfortunately, it can be quite negative. A lot of people say negative things about Nando's, but I think the only way to kind of really understand if that's true or not is to try it yourself. I think I can understand why people say the price point is slightly higher than a lot of Perry Perry shops. But if I'm being honest with you, it's a brand you're paying for. It's a kind of Nando's brand, the Cheeky Nando's. I've had my Cheeky Nando's, I feel good after my Cheeky Nando's. So guys, be sure to like, comment and subscribe. Follow the Instagram page at Halal Munchies Reviews. And I'll catch you guys in the next episode of Halal Munchies.